Hello everyone, it's Friday and you know what that means. It means new products here at SparkFun. We've got a couple things to talk about this week, so let's dive right in and see what we've got. So first up, we have a new case from Tux Labs. Tux Labs makes a aluminum case for the Arduino, but now we have one for the Raspberry Pi. Here it is. Um, it has a nice little plexiglass lid to it, and then you've got this nice machined aluminum bottom. It comes with two different plexiglass pieces that I will explain here. Um, this bottom one is actually just a cutout that fits the bottom of the Raspberry Pi. So we've got the Raspberry Pi here, and you can see that this fits directly on it, just like that. So it just slides in there. There's a nice cutout for the SD socket. Um, there's all the cutouts for everything else. So all you do is take this and just slap it down inside of the case, and then you screw this top piece on, and using the jacks here, the case will just compress it down, and that holds everything in place. Um, as you can see here, we've got this with the Model A, and then this is the Model B with all the screws in it. So it's a nice little case, and this is, of course, nice solid aluminum. So if you're looking for a very nice solid case, check out this. The other nice thing about this case is it actually has mounting holes on the bottom. So you can actually mount this to a tabletop or a workbench or something like that. So let's say you have a classroom or you know out in your workshop or out in your garage, you can actually attach this to the table and have a nice little permanent dev platform right there. And that is the same as the one for the Arduino as well. So check out the Tux Lab cases. Next up, we've got a new shield from Linksprite. This is the LCD button shield. Um, I guess they're calling it the LCD keypad shield, but I like calling it the LCD button shield. Um, it is this. And as you can see, it is a standard 16 by two character LCD display. And then we've got some up, down, left, right, and enter buttons. So how many times have you built a project and you want a very simple 16 by two screen but you also want an up, down, left, right. If you're anything like me, you grab our joystick shield that has the up, down, left, right, and then you add like an external display, and you have all these things connected together. This is really nice because it gives you pretty much everything you need for the basic you know, setup of having an up, down, left, right, select, and a screen all in one. Um, this does use the basic um, LCD serial library um, that is with Arduino, so it does need six digital I.O. pins to control the screen. But it's doing something a little bit interesting with the buttons. It's actually just using a single analog port uh, or an analog input to control all the buttons. So it just does a single read and it can determine which of the buttons are being read. So um, let's hook this up to an Arduino and just give you a little example with the example code that Linksprite has. So here we've got it hooked up to just an Arduino Uno. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in power and just hit the reset here. And there you go, you get a nice little message, it scrolls across. Um, the example code actually has a nice little typo, it's Helle, H-E-L-L-E. I changed it to hello, just to make it a little bit more clear for this demo. So it scrolls a little message across, and now it has um, ADC key testing. And we'll just go ahead and press this key, boom. And you can see that it just easily registers each one of the keys that's being pressed, including the select. So nice little thing. Um, they've actually recessed the stackable headers down far enough. So if you do want to um, do a panel mount, you still have your holes here for panel mounting. And let's see if I can show you this. There you go. The headers are down far enough to where that shouldn't interfere with you. So there you have it. These are two of the products that we have for this week. We have many more new products this week. So as always, go ahead and check out the rest of the new product post on the website for the rest of the new products that we have for this week, and we'll see you again next week with even more new products.